Hi everyone, welcome to this demo of the ThinkRF D4000 tuner down converter. Today I'll be walking you th through some of the features, um, applications, and benefits of this product, and some of the use cases as well. So the D4000 tuner down converter is used to convert, as the name would suggest, it's used to convert signals in the millimeter wave frequency range from 24 to 40 gigahertz down to an IF, a lower IF of 1.536 gigahertz. In doing so, once this is done, it's, you're able to process millimeter wave signals using legacy, your legacy or older spectrum analyzers. So which means that you can use, for instance, an old spectrum analyzer in your lab that only has a frequency range of up to three gigahertz, for instance, to process millimeter wave signals. So that's a very cost-effective way to do so. The benefit of this approach is that you don't have to upgrade your spectrum analyzer to one that covers millimeter wave. That can be very expensive. So you, we take this approach to use a tuner down converter. So a little bit about the product. The, the D4000, it can be used in applications like spectrum monitoring, um, research and development, um, and uh, uh, over the air testing. It has, what makes it unique is the fact that it has a built-in pre-select filters. It also has a built-in local oscillator, and it's also calibrated. This makes it very different from other uh, down converters, which simply down convert a signal. And in some cases, you have to feed an external local oscillator. We've taken care of all that in one small compact package called the D4000. Um, the D4000 tuner down converter has built-in pre-select filters, which is very useful for field measurements. Um, it also has uh, built-in pre-amplifiers, and it also is able to auto-calibrate a signal such that the input signal level is equal to the output signal level. So if you inject minus 50 dBm into it, you get minus 50 dBm out of it as well. This is very, um, very unique. If you took uh, an ordinary down converter, uh, you'd probably need to calibrate that. You'd also need to provide external local oscillators to control that uh, tuner down converter. This product, by comparison, has built-in local oscillators. Um, all you have to do is enter the tune frequency range, and it does everything else for you. The product can be controlled remotely as well uh, over Ethernet. So you can have it in your, uh, in your test equipment rack and you can control it from your desk, for instance, or anywhere across the world, as long as you have an internet connection. So for this demo, what we've got is a signal generator that sweeps across, we've got it sweeping across, uh, around 35 gigahertz. That feeds into the RF input port of the D4000, and the IF output feeds into a spectrum analyzer. Okay, so we've got uh, about, uh, we've got actually exactly a 500 meg bandwidth around uh, 35 gigahertz. And that signal is a CW signal that's swept across that frequency range that feeds the RF input. The IF output is input into a spectrum analyzer that's set to a span of 500 megahertz. So you can see the, the signal sweeping. If the signal is set to minus 20 dBm input. The, the, there's a front end attenuator in the D4000 that's set to zero dB. There's also the option to set it to 20 dB such that you can withstand strong signals in the field. The, the IF output, as I mentioned, feeds into the spectrum analyzer. It's calibrated, so our RF input is equal to IF output. It maintains the same level of minus 20 dBm. Taking into account the insertion losses of the cables, you get a slight degradation in signal level. The other features of this box are that it has a 10 meg in, 10 meg out for multi-unit synchronization, or if you want to synchronize it with a, your spectrum analyzer. Um, you have to feed the 10 meg out from your spectrum analyzer into the 10 meg in of the D4000, and that synchronizes that. As I mentioned, there's a built-in attenuator. 
Um, in this case, the attenuator is not enabled, but it's easy to do it uh, through a simple software command, Skippy command. The box is has open API, so it's easy to control uh, using Skippy commands. Um, it has um, it also has a 12 volt DC uh, power supply. It can be because of the Ethernet port. The additional a benefit is that you can also mount it remotely. So for instance, in the case of a spectrum monitoring application, you can mount it very close to the antenna uh, on a mast and uh, to preserve noise figure. So in, in this uh, short video, I've walked you through some of the features, applications, and benefits of the D4000, how it simplifies the process of getting, upgrading your legacy equipment to millimeter wave frequencies without having to incur a costly upgrade of the equipment itself. So thank you very much for joining us today in this demo. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below the video. Thank you very much.